section. Let's get started. Spirit, please provide me with messages about the recent past. Talk to me about someone that thinks about Taurus in the recent past. Talk to me about someone that thinks about Taurus in the recent past, please. A person that thinks about Taurus in the recent past. Could be a Virgo, an Aries, or a Gemini, all right? Could be another sign. However, this is the first three zodiac signs that I'm getting right away is Aries, Virgo, Gemini. Now, this is somebody who is looking for that opportunity, wants to be creative, could even be spontaneous for some of you, but their hand is up. It's like, all right, let's go. You know, I'm not sure if you're interested in getting into something new. Some of you guys are eager for a new experience. This person seems to be with it. Okay, so I feel like if you're looking for a yes or no answer, it's definitely yes here with the magician coming out. This is somebody that's interested and they want to move forward. Spirit, tell me more about the recent past. Talk to me about the magician. Talk to me about this energy that surrounds Taurus. What is this magician all about? What is this magician energy all about? So we have the lovers coming out here, the chariot, of course, a three of swords energy, a two of swords, Scorpio energy, and a nine of wands. Even though this is somebody that would like to be in some type of contract with you and they're eager to get along, they continue to face their own trials, their own obstacles. As you already know, the Three of Swords is present here. So for each of you, whatever chaos this person is going through is different, right? It's like whether this is in reference to work or, you know, a love situation, this is somebody that struggles bringing clarity to their own life. It's like, all right, they have a desire to connect with Taurus, but I don't really see them being clear on whether they're making the steps or not. You could desire to be with somebody forever, but if you're not working towards that, then might as well keep talking to yourself because you're not manifesting anything without any action. So this is somebody that's not putting any action, which is why something is stagnant because we have the two of swords, the three of swords. So it's like this person says, yes, I want to come and see Taurus. I want to be around Taurus. That's what I want. But what is this person doing? There's a difference. I don't feel like they're doing anything. Okay. And that's where the conflict lies between you and this person. It's like, if you don't see any movement from them, then it's very difficult for you to believe them, okay? Yes, I feel like this person has feelings for you. The lover's card is here. If we're talking about business, then they want to collaborate, but they are their own blockage, okay? I don't feel like you're in this energy of pushing somebody away unless they deserve it. If someone comes to you correctly, then I feel like you're going to hear somebody out. If they keep dodging or evading or lying, then you're not going to give this person any of your time. That's how I feel. Um, they do want movement, but they want, want, and want. That's all I'm seeing from this person's energy. And this requires them to take some steps, to make something happen. They have to be progressive. If not, they are hindering themselves. So let's take a look at the present. Talk to me about the present energy when it comes to someone that thinks about Taurus. The present that was the recent past. Talk to me about the present, please. Okay. You see what I mean? Who is this person, Taurus? <laughs> What's going on with them? Because I feel like it's happening at their place of work or wherever they live at. And we talk about this on a daily basis. 
Sometimes the narrative seems repetitive, but I can't lie if the same cards keep coming out and obviously somebody's having problem at home here. Like who's the problem with, the, you know, the foundation is the issue here. That's the issue for this individual. And of course, readings are interchangeable, vice versa. I could be talking about you. I could be talking about them. The energy here is fluid. So I just feel like whatever struggle is happening at home, whoever has all of this in their face, in this place, is the reason why something is not coming together. All right? This is what somebody needs. Not only do they need Taurus, but they need some money. Let's be honest. They need some money. They need an opportunity. They need something big to happen in their life for them to make this situation better than what it is. Okay. Now, this opportunity doesn't have to be money. This could be them actually putting the effort in making something happen. But whatever they make happen for themselves needs to be good enough. Because if not, they can't change their situation. And if they feel stuck, they can't be in love with anybody. <laughs> because when you're stuck, you have to figure out how to unravel yourself. And that's the priority. And you're not thinking about who to love or who to not love. You're just fig you're trying to figure out how am I going to get out of this problem? So somebody got to get out of the problem. What's the future here? What's the future for Taurus and this person? What's the future for Taurus and this person? The good news is justice is here. So the potential for you and this person to actually come to a better understanding is very apparent. Okay, with the Libra scales, we are in Libra season. Tell me more about justice in the future for Taurus and this person. Tell me more. They want justice, but they keep running from their intuition, okay? <laughs> this person, they're an anomaly. That's what I want to call them. Anomaly is the word for this person. Like, What is up with them? It's like they want you sometimes, and then sometimes they're like, oh, never mind. Oh, I really want to be with Taurus, but let me fucking play games here you know no so this is what's happening it's like you got somebody that yeah they want it but then they go backwards you know a little bit forward and then backwards again like fucking seesaw like <laughs> that's what i get with this person and that's annoying you i totally understand yes there's potential for justice but this energy right here, you don't want to see that, okay? Especially if they're trying to run from the truth. Clarify the Seven of Swords. See what I mean? I want it but it seems difficult to acquire. Who is that? Like, you know, I just feel like obviously they're watching, they're looking at it. They have the earth in their hands, actually, <laughs> right? And so what is all the blocking about? Are you blocking this person, Taurus? That's how they feel about some of you, right? But then for others of you, this person wants you and they act like this. 
guarded, you know, trying to ignore you. One day they want it, then the next day they don't, you know, back and forth, ignorant shit. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm getting, Taurus. All right, that's what I have for you. To book a private session, all that info is below. Take care.